Located on the border between Israel and Jordan, the Dead Sea is one of the most intriguing natural phenomena on Earth. Aside from some microorganisms and algae, this saltwater lake is completely devoid of life. Why is it called the Dead Sea? Is the Dead Sea mentioned in the Bible? Let's find out about the dying of the Dead Sea. The Dead Sea is located at the lowest point on Earth, which is thought to be the result of volcanic processes leading to a continuous dropping of land. It is one of the four saltiest bodies of water in the world. These special conditions are an outcome of its extreme geomorphological structure alongside a harsh desert climate. These create constant dramatic changes that form a landscape that is different from any other in the world. Also, the unique mineral content of the air, land, and water in the area is globally renowned for its therapeutic qualities, as is evident in that it has been a health resort for thousands of years. There are contending theories about the Dead Sea Formation. Ages ago, a saltwater lagoon was connected to the Mediterranean Sea. The movement of the African and Arabian tectonic plates shifted the land between the Dead Sea and the Mediterranean rose. Consequently, this cut off the ocean water supply for the Dead Sea, thus leaving it landlocked. The sea is fed by the waters of freshwater springs and aquifers, and, due to lack of outflow, water gathers in the Dead Sea and then evaporates in the hot desert, leaving behind salt. The rocks and sand shimmer at the water's edge here due to the presence of crystalline sodium chloride. At this point, amidst the hills of Judea and the Jordan Mountains, visitors come to float and enjoy the healing properties of the Dead Sea. People also cover their bodies with the Dead Sea mud mask before sunbathing to allow their bodies to absorb the hyaluronic acid and other minerals present in the clay. It was formerly divided into two basins, but in the late 1970s, the surface dropped significantly and the southern basin dried out. This drop has changed the physical appearance of the Dead Sea. Most noticeably, the peninsula of Al-Lizan gradually extended eastward, until the lake's northern and southern basins became separated by a strip of dry land. In addition, the southern basin was eventually subdivided into dozens of large evaporation pools for the extraction of salt. Water is pumped into the southern basin from the northern basin to keep it wet. The air is redolent of sulfur, rising from its mud, which is rich in Brahmin. You won't find any motorboats, other water vehicles, or even rolling waves at this place. Nonetheless, the pristine landscape and the quiet ambience make the Dead Sea appear like a destination on some utopian planet. The Dead Sea enjoyed vast popularity during the Greek and Roman periods. Even Aristotle wrote about the marvelous healing effect of its waters. The Dead Sea was an invaluable source of natural asphalt for the Nabatians. The globs constantly floated to the surface, and they collected them with nets. For the Romans, the Dead Sea was one of the world's first health resorts, with Herod the Great as a regular client. The Egyptians depended on the Dead Sea to purchase the asphalt, as they used it in the mummification process. As a terminal lake, with no natural outlet and no longer fed by the Jordan River and its tributaries, the Dead Sea's water level is determined by its balance. The amount of water entering it is smaller than the quantity removed. The Dead Sea's water level is measured at some 430 meters below sea level, and it continues to drop by about 1 meter annually. The water level of the Dead Sea has been receding gradually at an average annual rate of about 110 centimeters. This causes some concern about whether the Dead Sea is drying up. The natural recession is caused mainly by evaporation under the harsh desert sun, but also because water is no longer being pumped into the Dead Sea from former sources like the Jordan River. However, Israel and Jordan signed an agreement in 2015 to invest $9 million to stabilize the water level. So there's definitely some hope for this natural wonder. An unusual feature of the Dead Sea is that it spits up small pebbles from deep seeps to its surface. Ancient Egyptians used to import this to use in their mummification process. In various languages, the Dead Sea is referred to by different names, all reflective of its characteristics. The earliest known name is recorded in the Hebrew Bible, where it is referred to as the Salt Sea, due to its significantly high salt content. In the later Roman era, salt was a very highly valued commodity. Roman soldiers were paid in salt rather than money, 
This is also the source of the Latin word salary, which comes from salt. Through early translations into foreign languages, continued to use the original name of Salt Sea by the Roman era, visitors to Judea began calling it the Dead Sea, as they noticed that the waters were devoid of all life forms, whether plants or animals. Aquatic organisms like fish and plants simply cannot thrive in the extremely saline environment of the Dead Sea, and it was named for the lack of animal and plant life. There are, however, minuscule quantities of bacteria and microbial fungi in the water. Due to its desert climate, the surrounding area is also barren, with a scarcity of plants and animals in the nearby region. Yet another name was found in the book of Joshua in the Bible, the Sea of the Plain, which reflects the geography of the area. The water comes from above, the mountainous springs around, and the river of Jordan from the north, and settles into the sea on the plain. There are quite a few mentions of the Dead Sea in the Bible, and it has long been associated with mysticism, wonderment, and religious significance. Genesis chapter 14 verses 3. All these latter kings joined forces in the Valley of Siddim, that is, the Dead Sea Valley. Numbers 34 3. Your southern side will include some of the desert of Zin along the border of Edom. Your southern boundary will start in the east from the southern end of the Dead Sea. Numbers 34 12. Then the boundary will go down along the Jordan and end at the Dead Sea. This will be your land, with its boundaries on every side. Deuteronomy chapter 3 verses 17. Its western border was the Jordan in the Arabah, from Kinnereth to the Sea of the Arabah, that is, the Dead Sea, below the slopes of Pisgah. Joshua chapter 3 verses 16. The water from upstream stopped flowing. It piled up in a heap a great distance away at a town called Adam in the vicinity of Zerathin, while the water flowing down to the Sea of the Araba, that is, the Dead Sea, was completely cut off. So the people crossed over opposite Jericho. Ezekiel chapter 47 verses 18. On the east side, the boundary will run between Horan and Damascus, along the Jordan between Gilead and the land of Israel, to the Dead Sea, and as far as Tamar. This will be the eastern boundary. Joel chapter 2 verses 20. I will drive the northern horde far from you, pushing it into a parched and barren land. Its eastern ranks will drown in the Dead Sea and its western ranks in the Mediterranean Sea. And its stench will go up, its smell will rise. Surely he has done great things. Another famous mention is the Dead Sea Prophecy, in which the prophet Ezekiel foresees a time when the Dead Sea would be transformed from saline that cannot host life into fresh waters teeming with sea life. So that's it. Please like, share, and comment your thoughts below if you liked this video. Remember to subscribe to see our next video. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another.